What do we got going on today? Well, it's too hot. Not only is it too hot outside, it's like in the mid 90s. We've had some kind of weird mini heat wave here in Western New York, but the house is too hot. And I just uh, checked my furnace filters, it's fine. Thinking it might be this guy. I haven't cleaned it in a while. I'm gonna do that now, real quick. I've got the, uh, the breaker shut off. I'm gonna pull this fan off. my digital thermometer on the uh, fan motor and it was at 232 degrees I don't know what's normal I'm not an HV AC tech but it seems hot to me and the house ain't cooling all kinds of not good Let's see this thing's been off for about 10 minutes Yeah, it's still up there. 199.9. I'm just gonna fold this guy over. The fan's not tight or anything. It's, it spins fine. So these HV, these AC units, they uh, they suck air in from the outside, blow it out the top. So sometimes if you try to rinse them out from the inside out, and you can see how dirty that water is, um, just kind of pushing dirt from the outside in. So if you can blast it from the inside out. Usually cleans it better. I said I don't know if this is the problem, but it's been exceptionally hot here today. Actually, it has been most of the week. I should have measured the temperature of the compressor. She's warm, but I can touch it. You don't ever want to use a uh, pressure washer or anything on these coils. You'll bend the fins all up. Usually hose pressure is fine. Just keep an eye on it, on what you're doing. You smash all the fins over, then you're not gonna get any airflow to it. Now obviously you don't have to worry about water getting in this. It's it's outside in the rain. The water's gonna get in here no matter what. Not really gonna hurt anything. And just to reiterate the uh, the breaker for this unit is off. If anybody decides to try to do this, they can turn it off. Thank you. 
You'll know your condenser is clogged up if you don't get any water shooting out the other end. Units at my office, they, uh, they get pretty bad in the springtime with all the cottonwood that's flying around. They completely clog up. You can see a lot of this stuff. It's getting blown out. I usually do this once a year, but this year just everything got away from me. Been really busy. Most of these units, you can pull the outer shells off also if you want to get a really good cleaning. I haven't really found that necessary. Whipping shot, that's nice. Camera's gonna pick it up, but you can see through the fins now. That's pretty clean. I'm gonna go in and get this back together. I have no idea if you guys are in the, even in the shot. I just threw this on real quick to come record this. So if we're gonna make for an interesting video. A day in the life of weld wrench whatever. This is whatever. down too tight. Breaker is on. I gotta go down and turn power back onto the furnace. All right, I'm back. Well, it turns out that the uh, AC condenser blower fan motor is dying. I actually got it spooled up with the hose and it's not spinning nearly as fast as it should be so that's awesome and once again oh my aching credit card all right let's see what else we got going on today just got done beating on the fender on this thing for now. My Amazon order came. Capacitor for AC unit. My AC died yesterday when it was like in the mid 90s. It's not fun. 
typically uh, when the fan don't start, which is what the problem was, the fan didn't start. It's because the capacitor has died. Starting capacitor. Make sure we shut this breaker off. Remember the tool I forgot? So I have not yet tested this capacitor. I just know the majority of the times that's what the problem is. I shouldn't have to take this off. Why oh, you no come? I love walking, I love walking. See, it came out of there so nice. Oh, look at that. Snake's been in here. We can get you close up on this. That capacitor is definitely toast. You can see how the uh, the top of this thing. It's definitely toast. Top of it's all domed. Don't know what that is. So I'm not even going to bother testing it. It is definitely shot. I'm going to go ahead and get it swapped out. Now the compressor side was working still. So I'm going to make sure I ground everything out. Make sure it's discharged take any chances. Oh yeah. Crunchy. looks a little nicer they look a little different specs should be the same 35 and 5 microfarad 370 volt or 440 on this one 370 volt So if anybody was is wondering how to test these, do it with a El Cheapo multimeter. Set it to ohms. I'm gonna set it to 2000K. These caps are usually marked on the top. Got a common 
fan compressor side. Herm, I don't know why it's called a Herm. Never looked it up. So you go from the common to one side, you see the numbers changing. Common to the other side, you see the numbers changing. This one, dead, 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 got nothing. I was thinking that the, uh, the compressor side was actually working, because that was still working. Yeah, I got nothing. Toast. It's toast. Let's get this in. It's hot. It's hot inside. It's hot outside. It's hot every side. I'm gonna try to get this mess cleaned up before I put this back together. But in the meantime, pop the breaker on and see if she fires up normally. Compressor kicked on just like normal. Now we won't have any dead people in the house. That's awesome. All right, I don't think you guys need to watch me clean this thing. It's pretty gnarly. It's like a lot of snake spine. <laughs> I'll catch you later.